Hello mate and welcome back to Dash Studio. In this video I'm going to just be doing some more rendering. This scene is a scene after a major event in the game. Things kind of calm down briefly and in this shot we've just got our mum character and she's going to be probably sitting down at one of these stools chilling out having some breakfast something along those lines. I'm just going to kind of wing it and see what happens. So the first thing I need to do is obviously reset her pose and expression and we need to make sure we've got the move tool and we're just going to hit the restore figure pose this does take quite a while this step something in that studio it just seems to take an absolutely ludicrous amount of time to reset a pose and an expression okie dokie so <laughs> that took a very long time um, probably because I was off browsing the internet whilst I was waiting for it to happen who knows who knows the wonderful world of das studio so okay we've got our character reset now so first thing i need to do is a hey, stop clipping through the ceiling because that's really friggin annoying and i'm going to um I just un uncheck that so that i can move one of these stools out and i know there's going to be a lot of yellow flashing and stuff but i think that'll probably be enough so now we can Un un uncheck that again happy days and now we can bring our character in next thing we need to do is go into our smart content library and give her a sitting pose uh, if we're really lucky we'll find a sitting and eating pose if we're not lucky we'll just have to kind of merge two poses together no biggie cool so i'm going into merging my poses by function and I'm going to just look at the sitting category and see what we can find. I'm pretty sure I've got some sitting and eating poses and there we go I found a slightly better pose. It does obviously look a bit weird without her props being in there but we can zoom us off there. Let's just spin her around. Bit of a manly pose as well. That's because it's a Genesis 8 male pose. Again I'll worry about that in a moment. Just got to get her into the right position. Yeah, doesn't want to be perfectly straight. I know that um, some people would fuss about that, but I think as long as she's more or less sat in the right place, and naturally people tend not to be perfectly perpendicular anyway. Just bring her up a smidge more. There we go. Now I can give her props. I'll give her a knife in the right hand and a Oh no, sorry, I've got a fork in the right hand, apparently. Okay, so she's eating back to front. Don't actually know where the fork has disappeared to. What the fork? Okay, so we need to make some adjustments. We'll have to find out where this damn fork has gone. Just click on the hand. Right hand, and I'll leave that. Nope, there is no fork there. Interesting. Let's try that again then. So we'll give her a fork in her left hand again. No, it has done the same thing again. Let's try going into left hand then. And no, see that's done what it's meant to do. So if we delete the, the knife from there and we go while well, we've got her selected. And we'll give her a knife in her right hand. Let's see if that does anything different. There we go. Okay, now we just need to change the props for the hands. So her right hand is holding a... Okay, so we're going to need to move these bits and pieces around just to make them sit how they're supposed to. No biggie bit of faffery if we're being honest but all things considered this is a fairly minor kind of buggerance you know just moving the cutlery into the right place okay and then we slide that in on that axis into her hand let's have a look 
Let's have a look. Oh no, that knife is still sticking out through her knuckle. She looks like she's uh, attempting to do a wolverine. Let's just pop that uh, there like that. Swing around. Now it looks like she's holding the cutlery. Right, I am not happy with her using plastic cutlery. She is a grown woman, so we're going to change the shader on this. So I'm going to search for Chrome in my content library, and I'm going to replace the material there. How have I not got a Chrome material? Oh, right, okay, so we go into our Surfaces tab. We're going to select that, and we're going to apply Chrome shader to the nut fork, and we'll do the same thing for the knife. That's better. Now it looks like she's an adult and not eating with children's cutlery. Uh, right, so now I need to put some dinner in front of her, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. I just literally search in my content library for food and see what comes up. We have many options, but we just want a really simple looking breakfast. No point putting a bowl of cereal in front of her because she has a knife and fork. So we want to have something that looks vaguely like it's meant to be there. No point looking for a sandwich there either. This is a breakfast, so we want something. Let's just try. Uh, let's try. Oh, no, that's no good. I'm going to try searching for plate see what happens there that gives us some more options but there's no actual place with any food on them that's fine oh no I tell a light there is one there not actually sure what food that is but I guess we'll find out in a moment okay right so that will have appeared over there just bring that over here and nope that's the wrong button having a bit of uh Sausage finger situation happening today. Let's just bring that up. Bring it across. Right, and now we can see it's actually a very small plate, this, so I may have to scale this up because that doesn't look like she's got a very big breakfast at all. Close enough. Let's have a look. Now that is a very small plate. I'm not even entirely sure that qualifies as a plate. What is that on it? Is that stain? Is that dirt? Is that, have we just loaded in an asset that's completely useless? Yes, we have. Okay, let's get rid of that one and we'll find something else. Not a problem. We're just, I'm gonna search for breakfast. Why the hell not? Search for breakfast and what do we have? Okay, so apparently people eat steak for breakfast. Ah, there we go. That's what we want. So she's a healthy girl. She's going to have a continental breakfast. Waffles and such. So we've just got to find out where that's hiding. Bring that along here. Crank it up. Just bring that into there. And then we can just... I'm going to go with maybe 91 being the height needed. Probably a bit too much, but feeling that it's hovering off the top of the counter. No, it's actually pretty much bang on. That's ideal. So now we just need to move it in the X axis. So it's there. Cool. Happy days. Right. So body is all good. The pose is all good, except for what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop a camera just here. Uh, around about here where I am just here and I'm gonna hit the create new camera button and apply active viewport transforms so that's all good and now I'm going to look in through that camera and I'm gonna point it in roughly the right direction it's probably gonna be round about there and we'll just bring this in and just tilt that up a smidge more I might actually rotate a fraction just so that I can get a little bit of light coming in through the window there. Actually, no. Do you know what? Changed my mind. I don't mind her being... Whoa! We're a little bit... Yeah, we were clipping through the building. No problem at all. Cool. So there's that's there. Add a depth of field. Come back into the perspective mode. Swing our camera around so that it's 90 degrees out. And just bring our focal distance back. And 
that goes there. Uh, yeah, that'll work. That will work. And now what we need to do is I'm actually going to have her look at the camera. Bit of faffing around with that, moving the posing and stuff. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to use a script that I have, which will do the job equally as much. So we have to go back into our camera, select there like that. And then we will just give this a have to actually select the cam the cam the character in the case double click on that just hit accept and boom she's now looking at the camera now we can reset the expression because let's be honest that ain't a pretty look so she's in eating her breakfast so we just want to give her a kind of um she's she's not in a bad mood or anything like that so she's just going to give like kind of a warm-ish smile i suppose to the person that she's speaking to I'll probably just go with an expression like this one perhaps let's see what happens there yeah it'll work it'll work right so just gonna go back to our perspective view select our camera just swing it around and make sure that the eyes are still within the focal range which they are happy days so now what I'm gonna do is there's gonna be a lot of light coming from here but I kind of want to make sure that there's sufficient amount of light behind her so let's just get out of the ceiling just double click on that right so i'm going to create a going to create a plane yeah, it's going to be probably not quite that big in fact i think what i might do actually do you know what i'm going to leave it for a minute i'm going to go into camera four and I'm just gonna do a ivory preview and see how this looks so far. So it's looking pretty good. I think the lighting is a bit dull. So I am gonna add some backlight to her. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shift our control click on that arrow there, just so that she stops getting highlighted. I'm gonna do the same for the plate breakfast. I'm actually gonna bring this coffee cup over, hopefully at this close to her because she would be drinking a cup of coffee for their breakfast of course okay so that looks pretty good so far i'm going to go back to texture shaded mode i'm going to jump out of the camera so that i don't accidentally move it and what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to create a sphere uh there it is i'm going to be mm, maybe one mm, yeah well, let's go with one meter in diameter that'll be fine select our cube I'm actually going to drag this up out of the way just for a moment. So let's just give this like 500. There we go. So I want it to be out of the way because I need to do some work on it. So what I need to do is go to the uh, texture shaded, wire shaded, and I'm going to go with the geometry selection tool. And I'm going to cut this thing in to pieces pretty much. So let's just select our sphere so that we can edit it. And then we can just select some faces and chip away at the bits we don't want to get rid of that geometry editing delete selected polygons and yes right i think i might need to chop all of these ones out of the bottom don't need any of those and really annoying let's center on the object i'm just going to delete the ones i've selected so it's just probably going to be quicker doing it this way Happy days and select that one and shift. No, I'll just delete them one by one then. Fine. It's uh, It's been a long day and delete that one. Right, let's have a look at the shape we've got at the moment. I'm thinking maybe this row needs to go as well. I think, yeah. Yeah, they need to go. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye. Right, and let's have a look. I think probably these ones here as well need to go. Yeah, and now what I'm going to do is select all of the rest. So I'm going to go underneath the shape like this. I'm going to right click, change my selection mode to marquee selection, and just go select them all. And then I'm going to go to geometry editing, flip normal of selected polygons. Boom, job done. Okay. 
So now what I can do is I can go out of the white map or the uh, geometry editing tool and I can select the mom character control C that and if I click control V on the sphere and if I with the mom character selected center the view on her and then fix my camera angle there we go right now we come back out of Y shaded mode because that's just going to create more problems and we can just cut our oh, fish hooks control z select the sphere and we can fix that position there and then we just want to make sure we're going to rotate it like that now if i go back into my camera view mode at the moment we can actually see how much of her is covered by the sphere and how much isn't so we really want the light to be kind of there and then I'm going to use my material I created several episodes ago to apply the ghost light material to this and then I'm going to go back into Nvidia iRay preview mode and see what happens hopefully it'll do what I want it to do but I guess we'll find out momentarily so now we can see that we've created some better lighting on her. She sort of stands out now. And I think that uh, looks pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to render this shot out. So I will show you the end result when I've finished it. I'm going to make a couple of tweaks to the cutlery in her hands. But thanks very much for watching this, guys. I mean that. Much appreciate all of your views subscribes likes etc thanks to everyone for supporting me on patreon and for my channel members as well you guys are legit awesome and thanks to the rest of the dad studio community for being legendary and keeping watching my content i will see you very soon guys take care of yourselves bye bye